What's going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about a new Jurassic World short that features a Tyrannosaurus Rex wild in America before the events of the last movie. Also, Happy Halloween! Over on Dragon Curve, we're talking about another one of my favorite movies, The Crow. So if you're interested in that movie for today, stop by on my second channel and say hi. Now, as far as this short film goes, this is a dinosaur attack that I think goes a long way, especially for someone like me who wasn't really the biggest fan of Dominion. I actually know the guys who are behind the making of it, and and in my opinion, it's one of the coolest things Universal has done in a while. Now before I go any further, I want to mention you guys that today's video is sponsored by CuriosityStream, the world's first streaming service addressing our lifelong quest to learn, explore, and understand. Offering up thousands of non-fiction titles, documentaries, and exclusive originals from some of the world's best filmmakers, this is the place to find fascinating stories that are entertaining without any of that reality show nonsense. CuriosityStream is the Netflix for nerds, the Hulu for history buffs, and the Disney Plus for the scientists in us all. And at under $20 a year, it's extremely affordable, coming out to about $1.67 per month. CuriosityStream is always been the perfect sponsor for my channel due to their wide selection of dinosaur documentaries just like this one called Dino Hunt which has a lot of info on ceratopsian frills and the search for new species. It's always been interesting to see people out in the field doing this kind of research but it's also cool to see special effects depictions of the animals they're talking about. This one even has decent practical effects by the way. Curiosity Stream is the entertainment brand for people that want to know more and it's available on Roku, Android, Xbox, iOS, Chromecast, Amazon, Apple, and several smart TVs as well. New shows come out every week so so whether you want to know about science, sports, music, technology, nature, or history, you can find it all on CuriosityStream. Just go to CuriosityStream.com slash Clayton for unlimited access to the world's top documentaries and nonfiction series. And just for you guys, use promo code Clayton and you're going to save 25% off, which comes out to about $14.99 a year. So click the link below or go to CuriosityStream.com slash Clayton and save 25% off today. This is an extremely affordable deal compared to other streaming services that I think you'll enjoy. So once again, thank you to CuriosityStream for sponsoring today's video. Now. Back to Jurassic Park. So this T-Rex attack scene plays out pretty standard as far as Jurassic Park scenes go with some simple footsteps, roars, and a casualty that I think builds up to a fun and effective short. What basically happens is a couple of dudes are wandering out near where something strange is going down, I guess, and after one of them rounds a corner, the T-Rex presents itself and his buddy dives under a truck for safety. So the guys in the video are actually Jack Ewins and Bam Sam, who have been working on this film's viral marketing campaign for a while now, and this is probably the best one yet if you ask me. They did a lot of stuff where dinosaurs were wild in the world. You know, little found footage movies and stuff like that. But this one is really cool. This feels the most Jurassic and I would actually really love to see a movie be, you know, just treat some stuff like this a little more seriously. I actually got to meet both these guys in person back when Fallen Kingdom came out. We talk all the time and I know that they really care a lot about this franchise and wanted to make things as right as possible when it comes to a Jurassic attack scene like this. Sam himself, I heard, was actually super stoked because he's only the third official kill of the original Jurassic Park T-Rex since the first movie. Not too many people really think about that, but when it comes to the dinosaur from the 1993 film, it's only eaten like three people in live action. Gennaro, Eli Mills, and now Sam in this short. By the way, I did commentaries with him on Scream 1 and 2 over on his Journeyman channel, which might be really fun to check out for Halloween as well. But yeah, this short film is actually some of my favorite stuff to do with the T-Rex and all of Dominion, you know, all of that era, which is sad if I'm being honest. And that probably probably has something to do with the team behind it using sound design and effects from the original Jurassic Park movie for added accuracy, which the newer films don't really do. It's always the same recycled roars, and I don't know, it just doesn't feel like the same animal sometimes. Some of those roars and noises in this short, we haven't really heard much of in ages, so I got a good kick out of that alongside the massive footsteps as well. Now, I don't know if they had any sort of specifications that made it to where they couldn't show too much blood for this campaign, but there is a little little bit of dried red on the Rex's mouth. Not sure if they told these guys they couldn't be too violent, but hey, whatever. It's still one of the cooler things featuring the animal in a while for me. Would I have liked to have seen bloody teeth like the Indominus Rex in Jurassic World? Yeah, I would have, but yeah, it's the same model I think they used for the Dominion movie, and it's pretty high quality. After sniffing under the truck for Jack, the Tyrannosaurus picks up its head and moves on once a helicopter or something is heard searching for it, which could insinuate that this was supposed to take place just before the opening drive-in scene 
scene featured in the final movie, which if true is really cool. Like I said before, this was a part of the Jurassic World Dominion Dino Tracker campaign that the team working for Universal put together for the new movie, and I'd love to see more things like this come out in the future, even if they're taken a bit further with, you know, more expansive, longer, darker, funner. You know, by the way, this has me wondering, what would you guys think of a Jurassic World live action series set around stuff like this? Do you think that would work for modern audiences? And if so, how, like, what kind of direction would you like to see the series go in? Personally, as long as it's accurate to Crichton, and as long as it takes itself more seriously, I'd appreciate something like this over anything else. I don't want to watch Camp Cretaceous. I don't want to play Jurassic World Evolution. I like Jurassic Park, and I've been a fan of Jurassic Park for years, and something like this is what really gets me interested. One of the reasons I think a high-quality short film like this is so effective, even if it is literally just for a viral marketing campaign and not something that would be seen in the final film, is that these guys took, like, literally only a minute of original footage and made the Tyrannosaurus Rex a real threat again. There's no bombastic music in the background, there's no treating the creature like it's invincible or some kind of noble being, it's just two guys running from a giant theropod and diving under a truck for safety. Much like the original Jurassic Park attack scenes, the absence of music and focus on tension being built through sound design and limited visibility is what helps keep these animals scary, and I personally wish a new movie would do the same. Just imagine if we were to get some kind of elaborate Jurassic World live-action show called something like Jurassic World Breakout or Jurassic World Outbreak that documented the handling of these gigantic dinosaurs out in the wild. And specifically, when it comes to this short film and their usage of the T-Rex, you really do have to hand it to them because these are two guys that don't really have that much experience within a professional film industry system as far as making movies goes, and yet they offered up what is, in my opinion, the most threatening portrayal of the T-Rex in the Dominion era. I know I'm friends with these guys, but I was very critical of the actual movie, and I'm not saying this is like a 10 out of 10 perfect thing. It's literally a minute-long short film that just has a CGI T-Rex, but it's the most Jurassic thing I've gotten in a while. I say this because, I say this because if you actually watch the scenes featuring the Rex in Dominion, she doesn't really do anything that is a persistent or realistic threat to anyone on screen. And yet again, they have to beat the T-Rex up in order to prop up another big bad dino, which I'm really tired of seeing over and over again for 20 years. This started back with the Spinosaurus, but now it's just getting ridiculous. Sure, people were running from the T-Rex in Jurassic World Dominion. I do like the drive-in scene, and it's probably one of my favorite scenes in the movie, but it's only in the extended cut, and apart from that, it's really just this short film these guys made that I like the T-Rex in a threatening manner for this whole era. Even in scenes where the T-Rex wasn't necessarily fighting in Dominion, it didn't eat anybody, which is why I gotta give props to this short film for actually doing something like that and having the absence of music, built tension of the attack, usage of old school Jurassic Park sound design and storytelling in the form of found footage material that I personally found to be very cool, especially knowing these guys have never made a movie before, especially like this on this scale. But anyways, guys, those are all just my own thoughts and opinions on the subject matter. I know this came out a while ago, but a lot of people still haven't seen it, and I thought it was pretty cool. But hey, whatever your own opinions and thoughts happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens and engine executives as well as all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. You've all helped my channel immensely, and I'm incredibly grateful for all of that support. Now I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video and hope that you enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you all consider subscribing. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.